Hey guys, uh, about to head to Mauritius, Armenia, Bangkok, and to Doha, Everest Base Camp. Head into the hotel, uh, then it's time to get my Greek geek on. So it's a new day and uh, first up is the most iconic attraction in the city. Of course, it's the Acropolis. ruins. Right here, the Acropolis, Athens. So we're now at the site of the Olympian. If you didn't pay attention at school, a trip to Athens will certainly jog your memory of ancient Greece. So local beer is always good, Alpha beer, and then the food I'm waiting on as recommended by my sister Samantha is a mixed gyros, keeping it local. Mixed gyros, let's do this. of the legendary sandal maker Stavros Melissinos. Rumor has it that the dude made sandals for John Lennon. The New York Times confirms it. Choices, yeah, choices. Right wow, well, it it's good enough for SJP. Talk about an interesting coffee shop. This is the 2004 uh, Olympic venue. Obviously, uh, Athens hosted the Olympics that year. It's a bit of a ghost town though. Uh, doesn't look like it's been used for quite some time, but we're gonna see what we can uh, see closer. Well, the pool still has water in it, but whether it's used other than for the pigeons, no idea. So this is the only area of the Olympic Park that I've found that is easily accessible just by jumping over a small barrier. It is the uh, archery area. Honestly, this stadium is awesome. Put it to the top of your list. So this is the Panathenaic Stadium in Athens. It's pretty incredible, you're talking 300 BC. Um, this is the only stadium in the world to host three Olympic events. 1896, 1906, and even in the recent 2004 Olympics, they actually hosted some of the events here. It's, uh, I'm really impressed.
also an awesome weekend in Athens has just came to an end. Love the city, thought it had a great edgy vibe uh, about it. Uh, must do's, uh, obviously the Acropolis, always going to be top of everyone's list. Uh, the Panathenaic Stadium uh, completely blew me away to be honest. Uh, for something unusual, uh, the 2004 Olympic Park. Uh, it is abandoned, uh, but it's still worth checking out, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the food in Greece as a whole, incredible, uh, always is. Hotel-wise, um, Acropolis Select uh, hit the spots for me in terms of central location and very affordable. But to be honest, there's plenty of hotels in Athens that are worthwhile.